Near the Arctic Circle in Siberia is the world's coldest permanently inhabited town. Its residents deserve our respect and our sympathies. I'm from Minnesota, so I know cold, but it is nothing on the level of what the residents of Oymyakon have to deal with. So for six months out of the year, from October to March, the temperature is always below freezing. To give you some perspective, the average temperatures in January are equivalent to the temperatures on Mars. The coldest temperature ever recorded there was in negative 90. I don't know what happens at negative 90. I imagine that, that you just die. If you go outside, you just instantly die. It has to be negative 60 degrees before they tell the kids to stay home from school. This creates all kinds of strange problems. They have to leave their cars idling. Batteries just immediately die. Electronics in general are basically useless. The air is actually sucking the moisture out of your body. When someone dies in Oymikon during the winter, they have to light a bonfire, let it burn for half a day, dig down about a foot, and do the same thing over. It can take days. On the plus side, all it takes to refrigerate your food is a basement. You can literally just throw your carcasses down there. They eat a lot of frozen meat. Go-to snacks are cubes of frozen reindeer blood and thinly sliced reindeer or horse meat. What do the people of Oymikon do for fun? Besides drinking, of which they do a fair amount, one of the things they do is participate in something called the Walrus Club, uh, which involves finding a river in the middle of winter and jumping into it. And I think the parts that is fun is that you don't die. So from a man who grew up in the world's third coldest place to the residents of the world's first coldest place, Vasha Storovia. <laughs> Subscribe here and watch more videos here. We used to do this thing where you could take a cup of boiling water, throw the boiling water into the air, and it would never hit the ground. It would just disappear into a puff of, of uh, steam. It would sort of sublimate into the air. Uh, that was awesome. That's a great thing to do when it's really cold out. What are some other wonders that I should know about? What do you want to hear me talk about? What do you want to tell me about? Uh, what is the greatest place you've ever been? I want to know all of these things.